Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So I don't end up editing out the run back through, but that's because it happens pretty quickly and what does happen is uh, there's a couple newer-ish things that happen, so yes, yeah, so I don't edit out the run back, but it doesn't take very long. Um, and we do some pretty cool stuff today. We finish up those caves and then we get out, we get to explore more of like the outside of Korriban slash the tombs and I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are ready and the actual video will start in a moment. Uh, truth hurts. Oh yeah, we're gonna be at the very end, perfect. It's a little bit towards the beginning, but actually it's very towards the beginning. <laughs> it's okay, we know what to expect now. And I will change into robes. Dark Jedi Knight robe, okay. And then I should be able to, let's go see, let's go see. Spoiler alert, it's currently the year 2020. It is, isn't it? It, uh, this game is freaking old, but if you spoil it, I'll break some kneecaps. <laughs> uh, did you know? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can use force lightning now. All right, so it was an armor restriction. Scott lightning works really great. Take that. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Wow. Okay. Uh, flying types. Weak against lightning. Alright. Well. Okay. Imagine the Earth is only 20, 20 years old. That would be... That would be weird. hey Alright. Like, stop. Don't hurt me. I just want to just stop hurting me. I just want to kill you. Come on, please. All right, here we go. there we go. What do you mean I have so little force power? What do you mean? I got to use force lightning three times. And I'm at a disadvantage because I'm I'm light side. Um. Oh dang. Oops. Oh well, there's here. Let's just fight these ones. Can I use my lightning? Am I not use? Am I not using it? Where's the one that's like the... Oh, I should put shields on everybody. I forget. Oh, do I not have a shield equipped? <gasps> I gotta equip a shield for Joe Lee. What? Since you get mana to, re uh, mana to regen party quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Stasis one. Stasis it. <laughs> How'd you like that? There we go. <laughs> nice. Yes. Like em like the Emperor in the Rise of Sky. Yeah, I uh, I will probably not be running what? around killing things with lightning as frequently. You built a weak character and made the game a lot more right at the beginning. You built a weaker character. Yeah, I I don't know. I haven't really focused too much. I'm not I'm not much of a min-maxer, really. I just pick abilities that I think are cool. 
Um, but the problem is, is that all the abilities that are cool are Sith powers, and I chose the Jedi route, which is fine. I don't regret doing that. I'd rather play a Jedi than a Sith, because the Sith are just silly in this game. But, so I have to take my, my drubbins. Oh my gosh, that's the best spoiler ever for Prefect, that this is a pretty fantastic game. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. Alright, we filled that part of the map out. It's been a long time since I played, though, so... And, I mean, Rain's helped me build some of the characters, but I think, you know, he hasn't been, like, you know, telling me everything to do, which is fine. Like, you gotta just kind of figure it out on your own sometimes. It's the best way to figure things out, you know? One of the some RPG games that you need to choose your stats before you know their value. I mean, it kind of... Not necessarily... Um, I think I'm actually gonna go, before I go into this area, I'm gonna fully explore this back area. Um, like if you know you want to build, like an archer, you put, you put, you know, like using fantasy, I guess, as, as an example, you put stats into uh, dexterity. You want to build like a, a tank, you put stats into a constitution. You want to build a fighter, you put stats into strength. But... Then again, you can get into a game and then realize, oh, hey, wait, maybe this isn't what I wanted to do, you know? when games will let you respec. Oh, you got twister fied. Nice. Right, I have Jolie dual wielding. Very nice. Very nice. We were just talking about that earlier for Prefect, that the Sith in this game are just cartoon bad guys. Like, really, they really are. Like, I don't know. The only reason I think you would complete a Sith run is because um... Like, for, for like, you know, completion's sake, you know? Okay, I want to explore this, like, side hallway over here that's, like, we gotta go kind of towards the beginning. Oh, yeah, Assassin. Yeah. The problem with me and Dragon Age Origins, right, was that I wanted to do... I played a mage, which was not generally the best to start with, I think, but I did it anyway. And, um... I made a mage who just ended up, like, having all, no specialization, really, was, besides, like, the obvious specializations, right? Um, but, like, I, I, I had spells from every, every school. I just, I decided that she was an eclectic scholar of sorts. Ow. And that she, uh, just couldn't decide on what she wanted to, like, you know, focus on, and so did a little bit of everything, you know? Oh no, the mage was super fun! It, I mean, I guess the mage had really awesome abilities, it was just that, um... Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back oh, to the Oh, yeah! We'll kill you rather than go back. No, go, go back. What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to Your believe. twin accosted the me earlier. Into these caves is through the academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! Drain force would restore some force power, so a combo with force lightning might be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should, I should unlock that. So you're the renegade students, the ones who ran away? So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? I mean, what's your plan? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Maybe I can help you. Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? Give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You want Yay! to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously. 
or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you but how are you going to get off the planet? Forget it. <laughs> I can try. I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful. Is this one of your buddies? Right here? Or like a previous corpse? Oh, and I need to give Jolie... I need to give Jolie a shield. Here, have a Sith energy shield. And sure, one of those. Why not? I don't think he can use any of those. Okay. They could try Han soloing their way off world, you know? That only works for some people. <laughs> Whose names start with H and, and their last name starts with S. Hi, doggy. Oh, okay. Let's... Um, here, yeah, you regen <clears throat> faster, so. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't have enough for this. What are your... Eh, eh. But what's your actual skill? Oh, no, he doesn't have any... Okay, I see. He doesn't have any skill in demolitions, and neither do you. I only have... I have a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> I guess we could try to use um, the Force Knight Valor. I think that ups your <laughs> your stuff. I'm here. Let's see. Uh, well, it went off, but it didn't, it didn't damage me, I think, so that's good. Uh, okay, yeah, I will save. Save it again, after all that chit-chat. And now we explore this last section of the cave, leading to the only part we haven't been... Okay, can I just... I'm just gonna disable it. Potentially. I disabled it! Yay! Alright. Where you at? You're, okay, you're over there. And there's probably nothing over here. And alright. Here we go. Okay, okay. Alright, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you nasty! It's a good thing we can't get knocked off bridges, right? Okay. Nope. Oh, we're, they're not close yes. enough. Nope. Throw your lightsaber at it, and I will... No, no, don't do that. Do not throw a lightsaber. Just do the lightning attack, please. And then you... Alright, we just need to get into the fight, because this is going to mess everything Ready. up. Ready. Oh my gosh, go! Ready. Oh my gosh. Knocked down. You ready? 
Trying to buff us. <laughs> I know, right? Ready? Ready? Ah! It's not immune. It wasn't. It's so far. I think it's not immune to um, lightning. I think the lightning's been working. But I think it's. It's. Let's see. Yeah, I think the lightning. Maybe not. It resisted. It resisted the drain life. It might not actually be doing anything to it. Down you go. Yeah, I don't think the lightning. I didn't. It didn't say it resisted it, but I didn't see any damage numbers come off of it when we when, when I used lightning on it. Okay. And so Jolie can only really attack it normally. Just watching a friend stream a blind playthrough of Mass Effect 3 so you get those characters fresh in your mind. Yep. That's cool too, Mass Effect 3. That's a, that's a heartbreaker to watch. Blind, you know. Oh, I've been poisoned. Alright, and heal. Come on. Okay. I did it. Oh You asked for this! Oh my gosh, we did it. I gotta back up though. I think when it dies it, it puts off a poison cloud for a bit. Woo! No no no, calm down. We're saving the game really quick. Killed big thing. Is it time that he already had a walk today? He doesn't need another one. As much as he might like one. We go on one every day. Uh, level up. Skills. Sure. And then feats. What all do you want? Hmm. He's maxed out on dual wielding. I think. Oh, on single one handed weapons in battle. Oh. But I've got him dual wielding. Maybe I shouldn't have him dual wielding. Alright, uh, let's not have him dual wield then. And I might give him critical hit just because it's a useful one to have. Powers. Okay. That's a good one. The upgrade to force shield. Okay. Can lull the senses of a group, placing all hostile creatures within a 10 meter radius of a target in a catatonic stasis. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. I think I want to do that one. That one looks nice. And then I need to take off one of his lightsabers, I guess. Does it, does it matter? Hang on. Does it matter which hand is dominant? I don't think it does. Yeah, it's just whichever one you put it in. Okay. Who do you like for a few reasons with your fave? Combat has to be Andromeda, but you prefer three for romance quest? Yeah. Hmm? 
I... I mean, three is just a big whammy. Emotionally. Time to rumble. You can use critical hit now. Ooh, he did the thing! He did the knock everything back thing and stun it. Oh uh ho ho ho. That's cool. I should play myself. Time to rumble. Why is Caden or Karth's voice so loud? <laughs> Time to rumble! Like he's always the one I hear. Time to rumble. Tag him and bag him. That's what Caden says all the time. Duron's journal and Kel Drama robes. Whoa, I wanna read that. Where's the Duran's journal. The data pad appears to be the ger personal journal of the Jedi Duran Keldroma. The last entry reveals what he was doing on this world. Korriban is everything I imagined and feared. I can feel the power of the dark side here. I can sense the, ter the Terran Tatic hiding in this evil place. Shayla and I have decided to venture forth into the Valley of the Lord of the Sith, the Valley of the Sith Lords, the Valley of the Lord of Blah, blah, blah in search of the creatures. I only wish Guan ha Han was still with us. Why couldn't he just accept that Shayla and I are in love? He claims our passion for each other will lead us down the dark side, and he can't even see how his own pride and arrogance are leading him away from the light. Maybe it is good that he left after all, even as dangerous as the Terran Tatic are. I'm certain Shayla and I can defeat one without his help. Uh, it didn't go well, apparently. I don't recognize the names Guan Han and Shayla, but... I feel like that there was, like, I was told at one point about, um... Oh dang, this is as a better as a better defense. But I'm going to I'm going to keep um Oh, and this gives you a wisdom plus 2 and restricted to the light side. The force is strong and Kel Drama Blood and many of the family have joined the Jedi Order over the centuries. These robes were crafted as a gift for K. Kel Drama during the war against Exar Kun, and it is said that only the one who truly walks the path of the light can wear them. K himself wore the robes in his duel against Ulic Keldroma, his brother who had fallen to the dark side. K was slain in the battle, but his death at his brother's hand eventually lead to eventually leads to Ulic's redemption. These powerful robes then passed down to Duran Keldroma, K's cousin, when he joined the Jedi. But Duran disappeared shortly after the time of the Great Hunt, and the robes were lost with him. Yeah, I thought I heard something about somebody who was sent out to destroy the creatures that feasted on Force powers. I will put these on for now, I think, um, because they do have a better defense. And they have that dexterity bonus. Let's see. Yeah, they have a better defense. They still have the dexterity bonus, but they also have the um, wisdom bonus. So, Which I don't know if I really need that now, but I have it now. Uh, yeah, those are good bonuses for sure. My older boyfriend, what? Which one? Which one are you talking about? Jolie? Jolie is cool. I would romance Jolie. Um, I could give these, um,. To Jolie afterwards, honestly, or like, like if I'm trying to like, because I'm trying to kind of maintain this like idea that I'm like sneaking around the Jedi or the the you know. Okay, it's cave exit leads to the inhospitable surface of the planet. I'm trying to maintain this like facade that I'm a Sith, you know, recruit, you know. Okay, I think actually then I will put them back on because. We did everything we needed to in this old dungeon. Jolie's Sakura? Like, from Naruto? I definitely was not as mind-bogglingly obsessed with Jolie as Sakura is with Sasuke. 
Oh, that romance will frustrate me forever. Okay. Pining rim and you never gave me the time of day? Oh, well, no. <laughs> Candorous I pine for and he never gives me the time of day. Not being able to romance Candorous was truly a... Oh, see? There's the one that was, like, glitched out before. Oh! <laughs> Like, give me, give me, give me a, a romance that would be a good romance for, um, like a, like a dark side person, you know? Like, like everybody you can romance, Caden and, and, what's her name, are, um, they're like light side people, you know? Yeah, Candace would be fun. Oh my gosh, I, I don't want to get involved in main quest stuff right now, but whoa! This is the Valley of the Dark Horns! Oh my gosh! Look at all these giant temples and weird monoliths. This is so cool. Oh. And they're excavating. Oh my gosh, they're excavating. Hi. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. They're all dangerous. Maybe so, but this one more than most, I think. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting oh. it. Why don't the Sith do something about it? I don't know. I think Master Uthar has left it in there as a challenge for any student brave enough to destroy it. Supposedly, if a student actually succeeds uh -oh. in destroying the droid, they'll get a great reward. Lots have tried, but nobody's succeeded yet. Where did it get all the droids? No idea. I think it's what, building from them what? The droid went insane. You say I have an insane droid. Seems that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive, and all the noise drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going in, I suggest you use some sound suppressors oh. or something, or you'll probably become a target right away. That's a good idea. Are you going in? I, I don't think so. I can manipulate minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Okay, bye-bye. Sure thing. Salute. Good luck. All right, all right, we're finding stuff. Maybe I'll talk to these to these guards. I didn't think she'd have anything to say. Oh, hey, you're a person with a name. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Mm, yeah, oh, have you heard about Starman? Who are you? My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering An evil archaeologist! Now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only so we don't like me. destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. That's exactly how it is in the real world. Uh... What can you tell me about the ruins? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only Whoa! parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. I've been looking forward to this part of the game for the whole game! <laughs> Made any unusual findings? Oh, how exciting. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. The tombs are dangerous? Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. Hang on, let's see. There's oh, oh, I missed it. There's four tombs on the right of the tombs of... I thought it was, a, I thought it was one I already done. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasado. All four were ancient Sith Lords. Tell me about Ajunta Paul. 
That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. The med tomb of Tulak Horde. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest Takata. in that tomb, I think. Takata. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally, the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. Mm, Marco Ragnos. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. Nagasato. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something Whoa. in there a while back, however, and ever since then, only Master Uthar. Whoa! I know, right? He sounds like a normal lecturer, but has an angry, evil look on his face. He's like, I'm an angry, evil scholar. Blah. What did he find? Do you know? No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. Anything else? Well, it seems that why they left, we don't know. Um, have you heard about it? No, okay. I know. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those I tombs. know that there was a star map discovered in that. <gasps> Sith Archaeologist! She's actually named Sith Archaeologist. Where is that blasted transport Blah. crew? We're supposed to send off the next shipment of artifacts right I should away. join the Sith. I haven't seen any Jedi, any Jedi archaeologists. I gotta hang out with the Sith. Apparently, they're the ones doing excavations. A dangerous assassin droid okay. has barricaded itself within the tomb of Marco Ragnos, the first one on the left. Be wary. That conversation changes if you have Juhani with you, which what the conversation with this guy? With Dak Vesser? Please, Joey. Okay. There is an old Sith oh. hermit who has been haunting this area, we understand. Watch out for okay. him. Okay, he's been haunting the area. All right, all right. Another one. Another, another one. Oh, no, you're a student, but it's okay. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand ah! instruments. There's all kinds of old traps left behind. The oh, floor. I wish archaeology was like that in the real world. I really do. It would be very interesting. <laughs> It's already interesting, but it would be a lot more like uh, like the movies if you if there were actual like ancient traps and stuff. It would be really cool. Oh, oh hello. You. You're new to the academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. I don't believe in archaeology. They hide everything they find anyway, right? Archaeology is clearly evil. No, lemons you wait. <laughs> no. That's a very, that's a big leap. You've made a giant leap. <laughs> Wait, let's back up a second. <laughs> Who are you? Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these two? What a nerd! Funny? I love him. We had no idea the Sith were here. He's so gonna long die, ago. probably. I don't think the Sith would just let like somebody who couldn't handle themselves out here. Really, you'd have to like be an archaeologist and be able to kill ten people with your mind. Why not? Aren't there records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite He's quite fascinating! <laughs> oh my god, his voice! His voice is so stereotypical! <laughs> A young guy with- I know, he sounds like an old man. And he's like the twin of the guy we just talked to. <laughs> the greatest trick archaeologists ever played was making the world believe they were good. We are good. We are now. Back in the day, archaeologists just started out as looters, to be honest. A lot of them maybe had, like, high highfalutin, like, goals. Like, oh, we're going to study this ancient civilization. But what they did was just pick everything up and move it and take it back home. So, basically looters. <laughs> but it's evolved. It's evolved and... Now we're trying to help people. Whoa, what are you doing here? 
I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a gentle Paul. <laughs> Who is a gentle Paul? A gentle Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here. And I wonder <gasps> if his sword might not be here as well. I know, right? We're not grave diggers, we're archaeologists. It's uh it's been a problem in the past for sure. But it's something that's been heavily addressed in the last like fifty years. Which isn't very long, honestly, but archaeology itself is only like a hundred and fifty years old. Like at least like the modern study of archaeology. Um there were like examples of like ancient archaeologists i think like one pharaoh's brother was like a big fan of like studying ancient like the ancient ruins of like old egypt and and like the tombs of the pharaohs and stuff and obviously people in the past were interested in history but like the excavation and study of like ancient ruins is um at least large scale has been a more modern development as far as i know uh, his sword? According to legend, a junta paw created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable oh, prestige. Oh, 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 oh. oh, man, I wish I had a Well, I don't wish I had a mansion. <laughs> oh, I wish I had money. Archaeologists don't get paid crap nowadays. Um, hasn't any effort been made to recover it? A few of the older <laughs> students have tried. They did not. <laughs> As I understand it, the tombs are. His empty. face is like, yeah, um, no, it hasn't really worked out. And as much as I truly hate to cut this guy off, because he's been so hilarious and so, like, on the nose for archaeologists in some ways, um, I am going to have to cut it off there so this episode doesn't get too long. But get ready. We're going to we're gonna finish talking with him. He's got a lot of cool information. There's a lot of interesting people in this area. And there's some interesting tombs we might hop into. So get ready for that. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one.